In this video, I'm going to show you how I trade options in expensive stocks. I'm going to talk through several scenarios I would consider doing if I want to trade options in NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA is a very expensive stock. It's currently trading for right around $900 per share. It's a $2.4 trillion company. Here is how I would trade options in an expensive stock like NVIDIA. Before I share with you five ways you can potentially use options to trade in expensive stocks like NVIDIA, please know that these are not my recommendations. I'm simply presenting these ideas to you to use in stocks that you are bullish or bearish in. Now, before I trade any shorter term options, the first thing I do is to check the earnings date. Here you see in TC2000, it's saying NVIDIA is supposed to announce earnings towards the end of May. Now, some option strategies designed to trade through earnings, but personally, I like to avoid them if at all possible. With it being early April, and NVIDIA is not supposed to announce earnings until the end of May, that allows us to trade the third Friday of May options in this scenario. Keep in mind that even though I'm not going to discuss them in detail in this video, you could always trade cover calls, naked put options, or cash secure put options against any stock. But since NVIDIA is so expensive, you might want to consider using these other techniques I'm about to share with you. The first of five option trading strategies you might consider when trading an expensive stock is to buy, call, or put options. Now, personally, I don't buy options with short-term expiration except in very specific scenarios. But I thought I'd mention to you because there is something nice about buying options as compared to selling options. This is especially the case when you're looking to buy or sell options in an expensive stock like Nvidia. You see, when you buy an option, your loss is limited to how much you pay for that option. But again, buying short-term options is not something I do a lot of. It's really in specific situations. But if you want to limit your risk, had a very strong inclination that stock was going to go up or down in a short period of time, then buying a short-term call or put option might be one you want to consider. If you are bullish, you could buy a call option. And if you are bearish, you could buy a put option. For example, here you see the option chain that expires on May 17th, just before when NVIDIA is supposed to announce earnings next month. With NVIDIA trading for around $895 per share, you might consider doing something like buying the $900 call option that expires on May 17th. Now keep in mind though, this is one reason why I don't like buying short-term options. That option will cost you around $62 or $63 per share. And that option is not even in the money, so it's 100% extrinsic value at this point. But if you thought NVIDIA was gonna go way up, way past $960 per share, then you might consider buying that $900 call option. On the other hand, if you thought NVIDIA was gonna go way down in price over the next 45 days, or before your May 17th expiration, you might consider doing something like buying the $900 put option. Again, it really has to move in order for you to benefit from this option because those options were trading for around $52 to $53 per share. And right now, they're only $5 in the money. So that means it's over $47 of extrinsic value in that option you're buying, which means in order to break even, NVIDIA will have to go down by at least $47 per share between now and expiration. So that's why I don't really like buying short-term options because time value or time decay works against you in a big way. If you want to decrease your time decay and still buy a short-term option, then we'll take the put option for example here. You could always sell an option farther out of the money. So you can look to buy the May 17th $900 put, which is expensive, it's trading for around $52 to $53 per share, then you could decrease your out-of-pocket cash and decrease that time decay working against you by selling the May 17th 850 put option. You see, when you sell that option, it's trading for around $30.65 per share. So overall, you'll be out of pocket right around $22 per share for buying this debit spread. And your max win will be the difference between the $900 put option you bought and the $850 put option that you sold. So you could potentially turn $22 into $50 if NVIDIA was at $850 or lower at expiration. So that's the first way you could consider trading options in expensive stocks like NVIDIA. Again, it's not one I use very often, but I thought I'd just mention it to you in case it was one you were interested in. The second way I like to trade options against expensive stocks like NVIDIA is actually the opposite of what I just showed you. And this is a technique that I like a lot. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my go-tos when it comes to trading in expensive stocks. Let's go back to our chart here of NVIDIA. Now we're looking at the monthly chart of NVIDIA, so this is a longer time frame. Each one of these candlesticks is one month, and since we're only two trading days into April, this red candle is only two trading days worth of NVIDIA. But as you can see here, NVIDIA reached a high last month of $974. It's had a big run over the past five months. It was up almost 140% at one point last month. Looking down here at the volume section, we see that volume has been increasing over the past several months. So overall, NVIDIA is still looking bullish. In fact, last month, this candlestick made a higher high and a higher low than the previous month, February. So overall, NVIDIA is still looking bullish. But let's say you thought it was overdone. Let's say you thought its run was kind of over, at least temporarily. And you were thinking it might trade in a range or maybe even come back down in price to test this support around 500. How could you trade options in this expensive stock 
and still buy yourself some protection in case the trade went against you? Well, let me show you how I would do that. With Nvidia trading around $895 per share, I might consider selling the out of the money May 17th $1,100 call option. And to cap my potential loss, I would buy the $1,200 call option. We should get around $10.80 to $11 per share for selling that $1,100 call option. And then the $1,200 call option is gonna cost us around $4.80 per share. Overall, if you go in the middle of the bid and the ask on the option you're selling, the $1,100 strike price, and the $1,200 option that you're buying for protection, you should expect to get around $6.10 per share. And here's why I like to do those spread trades. Notice that down here, it says that our initial margin requirement is around $2,200. Now just know that I do have have an account that has portfolio margin so my margin requirements are typically less but what would be the max you could potentially lose in this trade well if we do the math remember we're selling the $1,100 call option and we're buying the $1,200 call option for protection so our max loss of everything went against us not counting the $610 we get for selling this bearish call credit spread would be $100 per share multiply that by the 100 shares that each one of these contracts is worth and we'd be looking at a max potential loss of $10,000 minus that $610 we get when we sold this option. So a very expensive stock, and you're betting that Nvidia is gonna go down or stay where it's at, or anything, just stay below that $1,100 strike price call option you're selling over the next month and a half. This is a technique I like to use a lot when trading in expensive stocks. I like to do bullish or bearish credit spreads. I like to get paid upfront for selling an option. Now let's look at a potential put trade in Nvidia. Let's say again, you thought that Nvidia had gone way up and it might come down, but you still thought that overall it was bullish. And that's kind of my feelings on this. Maybe the stock is kind of overextended right now, and I think it is trading at an expensive evaluation, but I really don't want to go against a very bullish stock like Nvidia is right now. But let's say I felt safe selling some put options against Nvidia at a strike price pretty far away from where it's currently trading at. Remember, it's trading for around $894, $895 per share. Now I want to show you this chart here because I want to show you where the support is. Notice the next area of major support on the monthly chart will look to be around $500 per share. And if we go to the weekly chart, we kind of see the same thing. It had a really strong run up to that $900 area. So if it did retrace, I'd expect it to possibly retrace down to this $500 area. Now that's pretty far out of the money. That's about 45% lower than where it's currently trading at. So can we sell some put options against Nvidia that far out of the money and still get paid some premium? We're gonna look at the options that expire again on May 17th, which is about 45 days from now, but before Nvidia is supposed to announce earnings. Please, if you decide to do a trade in Nvidia, please make sure to check earnings to confirm it is announcing it on May 22nd because I haven't done that yet. But let's say that we were willing to do a trade here that expired on May 17th and it was announcing earnings. Remember that $500 strike price we said would probably be the next major area of support? Consider selling that $500 strike price. And if we wanted to buy ourselves some protection, we could buy the $400 strike price put option. Now see, we're not getting much premium. We're selling the $500 strike price for around 30 cents per share and buying the protection for 17 cents per share. This is not a trade I would do. There's just not enough premium there, but it does give you an idea of what you could do. Let's say you were comfortable trading through earnings. Let's say you're comfortable going out to the next month to June. What kind of trade could we do then? Now I've gone to the next month expiration, which is June. Notice that these expire in about 80 days. Now keep in mind, if we did this trade, we're trading through earnings, which I try to avoid that. So this is definitely not a trade I would do, even if I liked everything about it. However, let's say you're comfortable trading through earnings. How much money could we get for this? Remember, we're selling a put option at the five and hour strike price which is $45 out of the money from where it's currently trading at. Now we're buying the 400 put for protection to cap our potential loss if Nvidia were to go way down past that $500 strike price. Notice we could get about 91 cents per share for selling this. And all the interactive brokers are saying that I would need to have $1,289 in margin for this trade. To keep in mind that your potential loss is that same $10,000. We sold the $500 put option and we bought the $400 put option for protection. So that $100 spread times 100 potential shares is $10,000. But here's a nice way to trade an expensive stock, get some decent premium, and also buy yourself some protection. Now, the third way I consider trading options in an expensive stock like Nvidia is to combine the two that we just did. Sell two spreads. Sell a bearish call credit spread and sell a bullish put credit spread. That's also known as an iron condor. In case you're not familiar with it, this is what the risk profile looks like. But overall, you can collect some nice premium, and what you're wanting is for Nvidia to stay between the two options that you sold. So we want to be above this $500 put option that we sold, but below the $1,100 call option that we sold as well. And what I like about an iron condor is that the stock can't go against both your positions. It's either gonna go against the put side or the call side if it goes against either one of them. But as long as you enter them together and exit them at the same time, the potentially 
only one of the two sides can be challenged. I typically don't like to trade iron condors in companies that are looking very bullish or very bearish. I prefer to trade them more in companies that are range bound. For example, here you see a nice example of that with Honeywell International. Over the past four years, it's been trading in a range between $236 per share and $167 per share. So Honeywell would be a nice example of one that is kind of a perfect stock to trade an iron condor in right now. Just keep in mind that typically stocks, when they're trading in a range, at some point, they tend to break out strongly to the upside or downside. So you wanna always keep that in mind when you're placing your trades. But if you thought Nvidia was gonna be range bound for a while, then an iron condor might be an interesting way to trade options in this expensive stock. Here is the fourth of five ways I like to trade options inexpensive stocks. Let's say for example you thought Nvidia was going to continue going up. How could you benefit from that up move without having to come out of pocket that $890 per share? Well you could look to buy what's called a leaps call option and all it is is an option that expires in 12 months or more from now. So I'll switch our expiration date to the January 16th of 2026 options. These options expire in 654 days so definitely over a year from now getting close to two years from now. Let's say we were bullish on Nvidia. We thought over the next couple of years, it was still going to go way up in price. Well, we can look to buy that leaps call option. Let's say for example, the $850 strike price. Now with Nvidia now trading around $891 per share, this option is about $40 in the money or has about $40 worth of intrinsic value. But instead of buying this stock for $891 per share, we can take a bullish position in Nvidia by spending around $280 per share. They definitely want Nvidia to move because as you see here, there's about $240 in extrinsic value in this option. That means that if you held this through expiration and Nvidia was still trading for around $890 per share, this 850 call option you're buying will only be worth $40 per share because that's how much it's in the money expiration. But if you thought it was gonna go way up in price, you might consider buying this leap option. You'd be out of pocket a lot less or about a fourth what it cost you to buy the shares. If you want to decrease the overall out-of-pocket cost, then again, you could do what's called a spread. You could buy the 850 call option, then sell, for example, a $900 call option. So then your profit margin would potentially be the difference between the 850 and $900 call if Nvidia was above 900 expiration. It would cost you a lot less than that $280 per share. I would expect it to cost you around $21 per share. Then your potential win would be the difference between that and the $50 spread between the option you bought and the one you sold. If you went with that scenario, then you look to do the exact same expiration day. Now, I generally won't do that. On occasion, I will. But generally what I'll do if I want to buy a longer term leaps call option, this example, then I do the following. Instead of selling the same expiration day call option, I like to sell call options that expire a lot sooner, but sell a bunch of them between now and January of 2026. And here's an example of that. Let's say, for example, I thought that Nvidia would go up, but I wanted to also collect some premium, kind of like you would with a covered call. Well, I might buy that same January, of 2026 850 call option, but I could then like to sell a near term call option against it. For example, looking at our May 17th option expiration day, these options expire 45 days from now, I might sell the 950 call option against it. And notice that we get some nice premium for this. We'd get almost $42 per share. If we did this trade, which is also known as a poor man's cover call, I expect to be out of pocket around $239 per share. So we're buying that January of 26 option expires in 654 days, the 850 strike price, and then we're selling an option, the 950. 50 call option that right now is $60 out of the money that again expires in 45 days. We're selling the option for about $42 per share. I like doing poor man's cover calls like this in expensive stocks. It minimizes how much I'm out of pocket on expensive stock. It also gives you some protection. For example, if Nvidia were to come way down in price, I don't have the potential of losing $890 per share. My loss is capped at this $239 per share that I'm out of pocket for buying this leaps call option. And if you felt bearish on a stock, you can do the same type of trade, but do it with put options. Buying and selling options is a nice way to trade in these expensive stocks like Nvidia. And selling credit spreads is one of my favorite ways to trade options in it, along with doing some poor man's cover calls. Those are two of my favorite ways to use options to trade in expensive stocks. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. One of the strategies I shared in this video was to do poor man's covered calls and to use leaps options to trade in expensive stocks. If you'd like to see how to use leaps options and poor man's covered calls to generate consistent cash flow returns, check out the video series of the link above and description below entitled Poor Man's Covered Call and Leaps Option Trading. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.